Hello and welcome back to Art Bites. My name is Mr. Heaton. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy origami book or zine using a single sheet of paper. First, take a blank A3 piece of paper and fold it in half lengthways so it makes a long skinny rectangle. By the way, the trick to getting neat folds is to make sure that the edges line up perfectly and that you don't let them move whilst you fold. Open the paper back up and you should now have a fold down the middle of the paper. Fold the paper in half widthwise so that it makes a short fat rectangle. This time keep it folded. Fold the top flap in half, lining up the bottom edge with the fold that you've just made. Flip your paper over and do the same thing to the other side. Your paper should form a W shape, like this. Remember that first fold we made? So use scissors to cut along that first fold in the middle of your paper, stopping at the valley of that W. Fold the paper in half, following the previously made creases. This effectively opens up that cut you just made. You should now have sort of four wings. These kind of form a letter X if you look at it from this angle. These will be the four pages of your book. Fold these around on themselves and you can form your book. So I'll show you that again. So pinching the middle of that W, you fold each side away from each other and then fold them kind of back on themselves to form that book. And that's it, you're all done. You can leave your book the way it is, or you can draw a design on the front cover to kind of personalise it, or kind of turn it into a zine. Use your imagination. If you want to make a cover, just cut a piece of card slightly larger than the outside of your book and glue it on. If you want to add more pages, make multiple booklets and just glue them together and then add a cover. Your cover might need to be slightly bigger if you add lots of pages. I hope you enjoy your new origami books. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.